In this video, I'm pleased to announce the release of version 1.20 for the Roland Phantom G series workstations. It adds a number of new features, plus there's a number of new system enhancements as well. Some of those being support for up to 1 gigabyte RAM memory now, support for larger USB flash drives and more commercially available USB flash drives, new functions such as auto track as you record in the Phantom G song recorder, and the ability to change quantizing in real time as you record. So let's check out version 1.20. What auto track does is it automatically selects the record track for you, and then it also automatically names the track. And it does it by part groups. So for instance, when we select the new part select screen, if I select an internal part, part 1 through 16, those recordings will default automatically to the first 16 tracks. And then if I click on record, the Phantom G automatically selects track 10. And so if I sequence, after I finish recording, the Phantom G will name the track. And click OK. And then notice my patch name is automatically filled in for me. So version 1.20 enables you to sequence and record without leaving the Phantom G's song recorder environment. You can use the new auto track function to help you select tracks as you record, auto name the tracks for you as you finish recording to help keep your tracks organized, and then with the new part select function you can take and select parts and patches and assign those to tracks right within the Phantom G's song recorder environment. When you press the patch button you get a new window that's labeled Part Select. And what that enables you to do is you can choose parts and patches within the song recorder environment. I'm going to start off with sequencing a keyboard part. So I'm going to press Patch, and I'm going to go to part number 3. And then I'm going to go to F6 Patch List, and I'm going to choose a clav sound. Press F8 Select. All right. And then next, I'll press record, and then notice what happens in my playlist. Automatically, the song recorder assigns me to track number three. So now I can continue on. I can set my loop switch, my end recording switch, and then quantizing. And one of the new features that's been added also, one of the new features that's also been added to 1.20 is the ability to change quantizing in real time as you record. And we'll check that out more in detail as I start sequencing drum parts. Alright, and let's sequence. Okay, and when we hit OK, watch what happens to the track name. The new auto track function automatically fills in the track name with my patch name. So now let's switch over and let's record a drum part. And when we record the drum part, I'll demonstrate the new real time quantize feature. So I'll go to patch list and I'm going to choose the limiter kit. and press F8 select. Alright, and let's go to record. And again, I'm going to change my quantizing in real time. I'm going to start off with my quantizing set to shuffle. Right now. 
Now let's do another track. All right, but this time, if I want, instead of letting the auto track function assign the track for me, you can override it if you want. I'm going to do that in the case of a guitar part. So I'm going to go to part number, let's say part number four, and let's choose just a very clean jazz guitar sound. And as opposed to recording it on track number four, I'm going to record it on track number six. So I'll go to record. Notice auto track automatically assigns me to track number four, but again, I can override it if I want in the display. And again, same thing. I'll change the quantizing in real time as we record. Go to shuffle and make that just a little bit tighter. Notice my track name or my patch name is still assigned to that track if I want. And now here's my finished track. Alright, so next let's discuss recording automation. And one of the things that's been enhanced in version 1.20 is the ability to record automation in real time from all eight of the front panel faders. Hit record and make sure that track 11 is chosen and begin. phrase edit parameters that have been added in version 1.20 under song utility are three new options insert, delete, and copy and this is for phrase management within your song so for instance if I want to copy a range of phrases that are let's say the same length I can take and choose my source range and then my destination so in this case, I'm going to extend the length of my song. I'll choose destination measure 5, and then copy times 4. And then notice for the source, I can choose all, and then F8 execute. At the very bottom of the menu is a new function for saving as standard MIDI files. And in this menu, you can select which part group you'd like to save, and then which standard MIDI file format, format 0 or format 1. And so to save a song as, let's say, Format 1, in the case of my song, I'll choose Internal, Format 1, Execute, can name the song, and then Save as Standard MIDI Files.